Again in the Highlands, we have come to witness a compensation meeting. After the requisite greetings, the two tribes sit down facing each other along the mountain terrace. The tribe on the left have to pay compensation to the other tribe. One of them killed a man from the other tribe and they are now going to discuss how much they will have to pay his family. Each group has its own interpreter, who understands either the language of the other tribe or pidgin, the lingua franca, which is spoken by more and more people. It is the only way to communicate in a country with over 800 different languages. Every day across the whole country, there are meetings to decide compensation. People go to them with axes, machetes and bows. If an agreement is not reached, it might turn into a bloody fight. There are more and more deaths because in tribal battles, firearms are increasingly replacing the traditional bows and spears. They may talk for hours or even days discussing the quantity of kinas or the number of pigs the injured family should receive. But in the end, they almost always come to an agreement. An important institution for these peoples is the Tanimet, or courting ceremony. This man dressed in huge feathers is the matchmaker, and he's in charge of the courting ceremonies. A Tanimet can last for days or weeks. The men invite the women from a different village. The Highlander culture is exogamous. It is forbidden to marry relatives and so they have to look for wives outside their own village. Men can have as many wives as they can support, but the women can only have one husband. The songs speak of love affairs and this the obligations of the future spouses. Following the indications of the matchmaker and under the watchful eye of the older women who have brought the girls here, the men constantly move around, courting all the women. They cross their legs and take hold of each other's hands. They are all wearing their finest traditional clothes and wear provocative makeup. Both the man and the woman must agree before the matchmaker will give his consent. <laughs> The wedding is very simple. The two families get together and the groom pays the dowry to the parents of the bride from 15 to 30 pigs, domestic utensils, and a few kinas, which the bride will attach to her dress. Once the dowry has been handed over, the bride and groom and the bride's family go to her village. Yeah, I'm